Good morning everybody, thanks for coming back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking out the old roller door and replacing it with a new one. At the moment the door that I have goes up and into the roof and that's not going to work with the design that I have in mind. So I chose to swap it out for a roller door that spools back on itself so that it will fit in the garage area in the back of the van. I chose to have my new roll up door made to measure. I'll put a link in the description to the company that I used. They were really helpful. I was quite worried about getting the measurements right to make sure this thing would go in correctly but they talked me through the whole order process on the phone and made sure that, that this was going to work. So now it's time to pull the old one out and see if the new one fits. So I've never taken a roll-up door apart before. I think where I'm going to start is by undoing these cables right here. One there and one over here. Uh, I'm slightly concerned that once I've undone those, those are the only things holding the door up. So I've put some wood in the track here just in case once those are undone the door tries to slam closed on me and also this drum here is under tension with a spring inside it so I'm thinking that once I undo these this cable is going to spring back potentially so that's something to consider and then once all that's undone I'm hoping that the door itself will be free and then I can just undo these rubber end stops here and slide the whole door out of the tracks. I thought that might happen. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Deep, deep down in my soul. Tip, if you're feeling awkward about being on camera on YouTube, listen to the Thigh Artist Murder's new album in your earphones. If you mind right off of it. to get some of the screws out but this is proving to be a lot harder than I expected because some of these are well and truly stuck and I just don't have the right drill bit to get in that screw so let's come up with another plan hopefully I won't have to drill them out Just trying to figure out how we're going to fit. This is the new track here and the new bracket. But obviously, you see, as you can see, it sits quite far away from the side of the van. So we're probably going to have to put in. We're definitely going to have to put in some kind of support here to fix between the bracket and this piece right here. We're thinking a, a bolt sticking out this way. So that's all the holes pre-drilled in the track. Now I'm going to offer it up against the van and use it as a guide to mark the holes to pre-drill those in the steel. Right, after a lot of fiddling about and about three trips to the uh, hardware store down the street. I've fitted the first bracket, so let me give you a close-up look of how it looks once it's in. Here's what I was talking about with the bolt going between this piece of steel and the bracket. Um, with these two bolts in the middle here, I can do adjustment 
to determine the distance between here and here uh, when we come to fit the actual roller itself. So if you've got any problems with this being a little bit off, we can wiggle it slightly. And then once I've, once I've put Sikaflex on the back of the actual runner, um, I decided to just finish it off with the bead down the outside of it to neaten it up slightly. Uh, this kit didn't come with any fixings and it took me quite a while to work out which screws to use. In the end I went with these dome headed ones because these are the ones I could get to sit as tight to the inside of the bracket as possible because obviously I'm worried about the door catching on these potentially as it closes. But hopefully that won't be a problem. We shall find out. Both the brackets fitted. I'm going to leave it for this evening and let all the Sikaflex go off overnight and then come back in the morning and fit the door finally. Well, I pulled the door out yesterday and pretty quickly realised I wasn't going to be able to fit it by myself. So I've come back today with the birthday boy and he's going to give me a hand putting it in the van. Well, yeah, I have to because I've already said in other footage, oh, this will be fine, and it turns out that it's not. <laughs> so, as I had suspected or uh, worried, um, the way that I fitted the tracks with those screws on the inside, obviously, those screws are taking up too much space. Now, the door won't fit inside the tracks. I was pretty much just kidding myself that that was going to work. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Well, changes have been made. Honestly, this is probably. Probably, it's definitely what I should have done in the beginning. Count the sum, all the screws inside both tracks. And they're now completely flush with the steel. And then I also went ahead and put some sticker flex over the top just to make sure there's no bare edges of metal there. Now we're going to stick some lubricant inside both tracks and try and fit the shutter. <laughs> that's going to be it for this video thanks very much for watching if you enjoyed it hit that thumbs up button below uh, there's going to be a lot more videos coming in this build series so if you want to watch those subscribe and watch along if you've got any questions send me a comment below and if you think this video could possibly be helpful to anybody else go ahead and share it thanks very much for watching I'll see you in the next one I have no idea if this is in focus or I don't have my glasses on. I'm gonna wait for that bus to go past. It's, it's very loud. <laughs> to the channel. I just look straight at the monitor. <laughs> Stop looking at the monitor. It's alright, you're good. I've made my bow. Hello. This will get easier. This will get easier. Just talking to myself in the monitor. Okay.